Hi friends, I'm Abigail and this is my story. Please like and subscribe. I was born to one of the biggest rock stars in the country. My dad was super famous and was known as Richard, the king of rock. After my mom left him, dad was always in the news for his dating life. He literally had a new girlfriend every month. Growing up, dad gave me everything, except his attention. He was too busy touring the world and breaking hearts while I was looked after by the household staff. Once in first grade, our school took us on a day trip to the beach, and I was having a great time making sandcastles when suddenly I started feeling really dizzy. I… I don't feel so good. You don't look so good either. Ew, just don't puke on me. I tried walking to the teacher, but before I could, I landed straight into a sandcastle and everything went black. I woke up to find myself in the hospital with dad by my side, and I was diagnosed with diabetes. The next few days, I was just really happy to have dad at home, fussing all over me. He was busy looking for a live-in nurse who'd make sure I took my meds properly while he was away. Too old, too grumpy, she looks lazy. Man, she's got a big nose. Oh, look, Abigail, she's cute. Let's call her. Her name was Bridget, and dad hired her the minute she walked in. Although, I could tell that she was no good. After dad left, she just spent the whole day watching TV or talking to her friends. Hey, lady, isn't it time for my medicine? Oh, sweetie, I don't know how to read the time. I'm dyslexic. Are you even a real nurse? Yeah, I did go to nursing school for like two months, but I dropped out. Sick people are gross. I just took care of my medicines myself because I couldn't trust her one bit and I was gonna get her fired soon. My 10th birthday was around the corner and I decided not to have a party for my classmates because I wasn't really close to anyone. I knew they were just friends with me because I was rich. Dad promised me he'd come home and we'd celebrate, just the two of us, but he never came. Call him, he promised he'd be here. What am I, your maid? And he's not gonna come now, so just eat something before you start feeling sick. Nuh-uh, you can't make me. I was beginning to feel dizzy, but I still refused to eat. Just then, a girl my age entered the room with a cupcake in her hand. Listen, you, this is my daughter, Percy. She just came from the village today. She'll celebrate your birthday with you, okay? I honestly didn't want to, but then the girl suddenly shoved the cupcake in my mouth. Yummy, isn't it? There are more downstairs. Whoever reaches there first gets to lick the frosting. After that day, Percy and I became best friends, even though her mom sucked. I loved Percy and didn't want her to leave, so I never got Bridget fired. But when we were close to graduating high school, Percy dropped a bomb on me. She was going to Oxford University. That's freaking expensive. And without you, I'll fade into Bolivia. Uh, you mean oblivion? And I saved money from all my summer jobs. Plus, I got a student loan. Can you imagine? I'll be the first in my family to go to Oxford. It's like a dream come true. Oh, what if I come to Oxford too? Come on, you can't tell the difference between Bolivia and Oblivion. It's not like you can clear the SATs. They're super hard. But I did clear them. Actually, I barely cleared them after working my butt off for a month. The day my Oxford acceptance letter arrived, I felt like my heart stopped for a second. Yes! When I looked at Percy, I could see she looked really surprised. How? Is this a fake letter or a real one? Did your dad make a donation or something? How is this even possible? Percy, it wasn't that hard. Come on, let's go shopping. I was so pumped for London, but there was only one thing, my fear of flying. I'd never been on an airplane before, but I so wanted to do this. When we boarded the plane, Percy and I had seats in different aisles. That wasn't good. I knew I was gonna panic. I got a seat in the middle of an old man and some young guy. When the plane started moving, I felt like I was having a heart attack. Oh God, save me please. I think I'm drowning. Yep, my heart's sinking. I just wanna get off this plane. Just then, the young guy next to me took my hand and he gave me a dimpled smile. Hey, calm down. You'll be okay. Just look at me and take deep breaths. And we're not drowning, we're flying. By the way, I'm Ryan. I'm Abigail. Okay, so the moment of truth, we've taken off. I used to be frightened of flying too when I was a kid, but my aunt would distract me until the plane took off. Always worked like a charm. Your aunt sounds amazing. She sure is. Now, if you don't mind, you can loosen your grip on my hand. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't even realize. It's okay. As long as it worked for you. Gorgeous. 
Throughout the flight, Ryan and I talked. He told me about how his aunt had raised him after his parents had passed away, and it was her dream to see him succeed in life. When we landed at the airport, I told Percy everything, and she asked me why I didn't get his number. Oh, bummer! When I entered the class on my first day at college and took a seat, the girl next to me gasped. <gasps> OMG, I know who you are. Hi, I'm Sophia. And oh god, can you get me access to your dad's wedding? What is it, his third or fourth? My Insta followers will go wild if I post pictures from the wedding. Um, sixth, and I'll see what I can do. Just then, Percy came and sat next to me, and Sophia made a constipated face. Um, the class is about to start. Just mop quickly and go. Excuse me, mop? I'm in this class just like you. Really? And out of all the clothes in the world, you decided to wear these gray overalls? The same as the janitor's uniform? Epic. Okay, this girl was a jerk. I grabbed Percy's hand and we both sat far away from her. Percy was fuming and I told her she looked wonderful. Just then, I saw a familiar face enter the class. It was Ryan. Hello class, I'm Ryan and I'll be teaching you archeology. span Let's start off with the attendance. OMG, Ryan, my professor? Apparently, he was some kind of child genius and had graduated at a very young age. But when I tried to talk to him after class, he just walked away. Later, I told Percy who he was, but she didn't believe me. Oh, really? Then why didn't he say hi? I don't know, maybe he had anemia or something. Amnesia, not anemia. It happened in every class. He always acted like I didn't exist. And after a while, I gave up trying to talk to him. But one time, I was in the cafeteria, and just as I opened a can of soda, it exploded on the person in front of me. On Ryan. Oh no, I'm so sorry. It was a mistake. Oh, I guess it just runs in the family. You guys just make mistakes and never mean any harm, right? Just leave it. Huh? What was that about? He walked away before I could ask, and I decided not to bother with it. I was here to study, and for the first time in my life, I was really enjoying it. Learning about prehistory captivated me, and I really wanted to become an archaeologist. A few weeks later, Percy got some bad news. Her mom was sick and she had to go back for a few weeks. Give my love to Auntie and don't worry, she'll be all right, promise. With Percy gone, I felt rather alone. But luckily, I made a few friends, and a week later attended a Halloween party with them, dressed as a vampire. I was having a great time till I went to the bathroom and took off my mask. And Sophia turned up out of nowhere and started taking selfies with me. Wonderful, my followers are gonna go crazy. So, how are you, girl? Worse than I was a minute ago, because you're here now. Whoa, snappy. Is it because I showed your friend the mirror? Come on, she did look like a janitor that day. <laughs> how do you even know her? She's my nanny's daughter, and we've been best friends since we were kids, and no one deserves to be here more than her. So please, don't talk trash about her if you don't want me to punch your face. When I got back to the main hall, an upbeat song came on, and a guy who was dressed as the Phantom of the Opera offered me his hand to dance. I was having a great time. And then the music turned to a slow number, and the guy pulled me close. He had his hand on my back. Just then I realized my zip was coming down, and he fixed it. Oh, thank you. Wait, is that you, Abigail? Uh, Ryan? Yeah, sorry. I didn't know it was you. I gotta go. He was about to walk away when I stopped him. Hey, what's the matter with you? Why do you keep acting like you have some problem with me? And what did you mean that day when you said it runs in the family? Why don't you ask your dad? My dad? What does he have to do with anything? He has a lot to do with me and my aunt. Ask him how he betrayed the woman who made him what he is today. He made my aunt fall for him, stole her music tunes, and then just dumped her one day like she meant nothing. Seeing her crumble after your dad's betrayal was the hardest time of my life. I, I'm sorry, Ryan. I know my dad isn't a saint, but what do I have to do with his past? It's not fair to judge me for something he did, and I never knew about it. Trust me, he wasn't really around for me much either. And I don't deserve your hate. Saying that, I just left the dance floor as quickly as I could. The next day in class, I was ecstatic to see Percy was back, but she looked really worried because Ryan had given her an F for low attendance. Abigail, you gotta help me. You say you know him, right? Ask him to give me an A or, or maybe a B, please.
What? Percy, this isn't some lame high school. I can't just go to a teacher and ask him to change my friend's grades. Wow, you sure have changed, Abigail. I saw your selfies with that witch, Sophia, and now you're refusing to help me out? Don't act like you got into Oxford on your own. I'm 100% sure your dad had something to do with getting you in. What the heck? Before I could even reply, Percy just stormed off and stopped talking to me. A week later, we had to submit an assignment for extra credits, and when the results came in, I had aced it. I was so happy. But now, I had to be Ryan's assistant for a month. One afternoon, I was sitting in the library filing papers for Ryan when I realized someone was next to me. It was him. I was startled and ended up spilling the coffee mug next to me. Ouch. This is the second time you spilled something on me. Sorry, you kind of sneaked up on me. As Ryan wiped the coffee off his clothes, I just looked at his face, thinking about the first time we'd met. What are you smiling for? I was just thinking about how you would make the perfect boyfriend. The older your girlfriend gets, the more interested you'd be in her, cause you're a historian. Finally, I saw the slightest smile and that gorgeous dimple. Abigail, about the other night, I'm sorry. I know it wasn't your fault. I actually... Without finishing his sentence, Ryan took my hand and just looked into my eyes. He was leaning in like he was about to kiss me. But right then, there was a sound near the window and Ryan jolted up to check it, and the moment was gone. But the next day when I entered my class, all eyes were on me. Whoa, if it isn't the teacher's pet. No wonder you're soaring so high these days. What do you mean? You don't follow me? Oh geez, you should. I now have a blue tick on my account thanks to you. Look what I received anonymously. It was a video of Ryan and me sitting really close in the library. I was furious. Don't be so happy about that blue tick. I snatched the witch's phone and smashed it on the floor and walked off. But Percy caught up with me. Oh, so this is how you get extra credits? Some of us actually worked really hard to be here, but people like you will do just about anything to get ahead, like flirting with the teacher. And when I ask you to put in a good word for me, you refused. Are you crazy? I really am studying hard, Percy. I know you liked him, but this is disgusting. I had my suspicions, but seeing you two in the library that day, I understood everything. Wait, so you made this video? Couldn't you have at least asked me what the truth was? I'm your best friend. Yeah? Is that why you've been going around telling people like Sophia that I'm your maid's daughter? Some friend you are? That's not what I said. I didn't mean it that way. And yes, I do like Ryan, but I would never use him to get ahead. I can't believe that's what you think of me. I'm done. With you, with Ryan, this Oxford dream, all of it. I ran off and right outside Ryan was waiting to talk to me, but I needed to be alone. So I ran out of the college toward the forest park. Ryan caught up with me and just as I tried to push him away, we both fell with a thud and then everything went dark. When I woke up, I found myself in Ryan's arms. Oh, thank God you're all right. Am I? I don't feel all right. Where are we? We fell into a pit and there's no signals here. It's been hours and I've been screaming for so long, but no one's come. I felt my head spinning and knew my blood sugar was low. Ryan hugged me to keep warm. What were you saying that day at the library? Tell me. I was gonna say how much I... What? I... I like you. I like you too. A lot. Saying that, I turned to kiss him and it was so perfect. Abigail, we have to get out of here. I know you can do it. You need your meds and we can't wait. Finally, with Ryan's support, I was able to climb out of the pit. As we were trying to make our way out of the forest, I saw all these people with flashlights in their hands and crashed into one of them. It was Percy. And then I blacked out again. When I woke up again, I was in the hospital and Ryan was sitting next to me. Hey, gorgeous. You had me worried. I know we have all the time in the world to talk, but there's someone who's been waiting eagerly for you to wake up. Ryan kissed me and left the room. And just then, Percy entered with tears in her eyes and begged for forgiveness. Percy, you've been my friend for as long as I can remember. I want to forgive you, but I'll need some time. Take as much time as you need. I am so sorry. My own insecurities got the better of me. You've been nothing but a great friend, and now I've ruined everything. Maybe you haven't.